Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Hot Butcher guys, uh, Hot Butcher for the World. This is their Mega Clang. Uh, this is not a big, huge beer. I mean, it's a six and a half percent alcohol by volume. And they use Strata, Rewaka, and Nectaron hopped uh, hops uh, for the beer. It's an IPA. And it says, it was packaged on 031621, March 16th. Uh, so, uh, very colorful artwork. And like I said, uh, Dan has done this. He does, uh, if not all of them, pretty much all of them. Uh, uh, just about every can I pick up is sent to me. It has his name on the back of it about for the artwork. So, very talented fellow there. Uh, and I don't know if he has uh, additional roles uh, at the brewery uh, or uh, at them. And like I said the other day, I was informed that they had just uh, acquired uh, half one of Half Acres Brewery. So uh, good. I'm looking for good things to uh, come down the road from this uh, from Hot Butcher. Uh, it's a uh, it's a good thing because they these guys do some awesome stuff. So, and I'm sure I won't be disappointed with this one either. So, uh, I think I have one more uh, that Jeremiah sent me, uh, and he's with Hot Butcher. And uh, Jeremiah, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it, and I hope uh, uh, you continue to send me these outstanding, wonderful, tasty damn beers. Uh, it's in very enjoyable. It's always a pleasure to get a package from uh, Jeremiah. So, uh, let's jump over to. And these guys are up in Illinois, around the Chicago area, guys. Mmm, untapped, uh, the commercial description is the same thing. It's written on the bottom of the can here, on the front. Uh, and looking at the beer, it looks cloudy, but it doesn't, by the pictures, it doesn't look like it's a bright orange juice color. So, without further ado, a big 16-ounce can with the heat shrunk label on it. It's a lighter color than a, a bright orange color. Swirly swirl. All right, mega clang. Man, good two fingers of head on that, guys. A nice, rich, a lighter orange color. Uh, and I can see light through this one. This is not your typical New England style, but it, uh, it's close. Uh, but I can see light through the thin part down here. So uh, cloudy, hazy, but in my opinion, not quite to the New England style. And then and they never claim that on their on their cans. So uh, uh, and let me see. No, neither beer advocate or untapper are claiming it to be a New England style. Just a cloudy, hazy beer. So, still good looking though. Uh, big soapy bubbles on the outside. Nice creamy on top, but uh, I don't expect that head to stick around with those big bubbles on the side. But still, awesome looking beer. Hmm. Through the nose we go. And I'm not sure I read on the front. Uh, Strata, Rewaka, Nectaron Hop. Yeah, I did. Well, nectarines, <laughs> rice and citrusy, maybe a little bit of lemon in there. Yeah, not a whole lot going on uh, as far as 
other aromas. To me, maybe a hint of some pine in there. Hmm. Oh well. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeremiah, and everybody at Hot Butcher. Much continued success with your new acquisition of the Half Acre Brewery. Cheers. Not quite as potent as powerful with the hot presence as uh, most of their beers are. Almost get a sweet candied taste to it. It's very smooth and easy drinking. Alcohol is well hidden. Tasty beer. Kind of different. Uh, just like yesterday's beer was a little different. This is a little different too. Like I said, the uh, Maybe the Nectaron is, uh, maybe they, they named it that way for Nectarines. Maybe that's what I'm tasting. Very pleasant. Tasty beer. Let's do the backhand pour. See if anything changes. <clears throat> Swirling that glass a little bit really reinforces that head. Good looking glass of beer, don't you think? Well, let's try it out of the fridge, guys. Let's go sip on it and see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. Real nice slicing of stuff on the glass. I'm surprised it actually left more than just a little ring where that head was when I pulled it. But it did leave a nice slicing. I mean, well-made beer. Tasty beer. Kind of one-dimensional to me. Uh, I got, got more nectarines than anything else, but still very tasty. Alcohol very very well hidden 6.5 percent dates on the bottom of it I enjoyed this I mean uh, it was a very pleasant beer to drink uh, it didn't seem to be too bitter but like I said I think it's kind of one-dimensional I don't know if I'm just not picking up on what they were after nice citrusy and nectarines maybe a hint of pine I'll choke. Very smooth, very easy drinking. A pleasurable beer to drink, guys. Uh, they all can't be off the chain with the hops. Uh, it just is just not going to happen. I mean, in uh, Strata and Rewaka, uh, and Nectaron, uh, I've had Strata and Rewaka. I'm not sure I've had Nectaron uh, hops before, so uh, something different. So uh, to me, guys, 90. That's where I'm going to put this. Uh, a minus. Uh, Beer Advocate doesn't have enough people to comment on it to give a score. Hmm. And Untapped that has it at 3.96, which is the top end of their B plus range. Ah. Uh, I, I think it's an A beer, guys. I mean, there's nothing off-putting about the beer. Uh, reminds me of a single hop beer. Uh, but even though they've used uh, three different hops, uh, I'm just not picking up on uh, a whole lot of else. So, like I said, they all can't be cans and they all can't be off the chain with the hops. I mean, depending on the hops they use. Uh, Probably not my favorite from Hot Butcher, but still a very tasty beer and glad I got to try it. So, Jeremiah, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it. Uh, 1,238 people have commented on this beer on Untapped. <laughs> and they don't even have 10 comment over on Beer Advocate. So, eh, it's what it is there, guys. Uh, can't beat a dead horse, I don't guess. You can, but it ain't going to do no good. <laughs> so, if you've had Mega Clang, from Hot Butcher for the World. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.